All right, let's see what we have. I'd like to just focus for a minute on our right hand picking pattern. It's called the Travis finger picking pattern based on Merle Travis who created this alternate, alternating bass kind of picking pattern. And our thumb is gonna alternate between our sixth, fifth, and maybe sometimes even fourth strings while our index, middle, and ring, or IMA fingers are gonna be picking out the top strings, the first, second, and third. So um, open, we, it's an open tuning. It's a beautiful chord all by itself. We're just gonna let it be open for the moment, play our D chord. And I'll just slow it down a little for you. So we start with P and A, which is thumb and, and ring, on the low E and the high string, high E strings. So the sixth and first strings. And then our thumb is going to play the fourth string. Index is going to play the third. Thumb goes to the fifth string. Middle finger plays the second string. Thumb is back to the fourth string. So let's do that a little bit together. Now, I want you to see that I'm actually anchoring my third finger here after I play that first note. And it just gives me a little stability. I could do it without anchoring it, but I want you to experiment and see if, if you want to anchor your finger there. Some people will anchor here, but it's a little far to reach when, because you're using that finger. Okay, so that's our pattern. And it's only going to vary very slightly on one or two chords. Pretty much we're going to stick with that. So let's look at our chords now. Our first chord is a, a D minor 7 over an F sharp. And it's, we've got the sixth and fifth strings in the fourth fret. Our fourth string is open, and our third string is in the third fret. So let's try that. Okay. And one of the things that's really cool about open tunings is that with pretty simple chords, you get a lot of very cool voicings. This is a very strange voicing in a way. It's a little bit dissonant. Okay. Remember that shape because we're going to come back to it a couple more times. Then we're going to take our fingers just up one fret, the fifth fret, to a G chord. So we've got sixth and fifth strings, fifth fret, fourth string open, and we've got third string, fifth fret. Same pattern. And then we go to a G chord over a D. So it's, we've got second fret, fifth string, and then first fret on the third string. We're going to still have our D in the bass. And then we take it off and we just have our D. Okay? Go back to that D major 7 over F sharp. Back to the G. Slide that G up, same exact shape, to the 7th fret. There's a very oddly voiced A sus chord. Love it. Back there. Now we're going to take that same shape we've been using 
over here where we've got second fret, sixth and fifth strings, and we've got the first fret on the third string. It's an E minor 11. We actually do that for three measures, and then we keep our first finger down for an A sus. So it's just first finger, third string, and first fret, third string, second fret, fourth string. Root is now the fifth string. And then we're back to our open D. 